investigation, but we have learned it is connected to potential homicide. Roses for Fatima Rosa, Emily Howell, and Teresa Leary, three young women from. And we do apologize for that. Again, with this investigation, we saw police combing at the uh, Preston Avenue home last night. Today as well, they were digging in the backyard and in the side yard. The medical examiner was on scene, but what they were looking for or what they may have found remains unclear, although we have confirmed that this is linked to a potential homicide. We will have more details on this. Cranston police telling us at this time they are still investigating and are hoping to release more details later on. Of course, we will bring you those details as soon as we receive them. For now, reporting live in Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. Kim, thanks. We are learning more tonight about three women killed in a crash yesterday in Pawtucket. And also tonight, we're told the driver of the car that split in half is facing numerous charges. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Fashado joins us live from Pawtucket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom with the new details. Well, people have started to leave flowers, photos, other mementos here right at the spot where the crash happened. Three women were killed and now the driver is being charged.